What's up, dog? Hello, dog. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Hello, cat. Oh, what's up? I like both. We should. Hello, elephant. <laughs> that's a new one. That'd that's be... a new one. Well, cat is cool because it's like a jazz, like cool what's up, cat, cat? Or like a jazz kind of vibes, like cool cat. Yeah. And dog is cool. Meow. <laughs> I'm getting cat called. I'm getting cat called left and right. Dog called. Dog called. I'm a dog calling. I'm a women. dog. I'm <laughs> That would be scary. On the <laughs> that would, they, sh- they should call it dog call. Sorry if you're listening. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. Um. I would be. They should rat call people. Oh, the do- the oh no, the cat will. Cat is looking at me now. Yeah. He said my enemy is in the room. <laughs> uh, I have a dog doing stand up. Uh, you want to hear this? You ready for this? Yeah. Um, he goes. Uh. Uh. So I'm kind of bisexual. <laughs> I date cats and dogs. <laughs> And he goes, and then he says, um, uh, anybody ever noticed that? Oh, no. He goes, uh, I was barking at the mailman the other day. <laughs> That's a classic enemy. Thinking, yeah, I think about that. Yeah. yeah. Anybody yeah. ever notice how everything's blue and green <laughs> all the time? You notice you're always chasing the mailman's truck, but you yeah. never catch it? Exactly. What's that yep. about? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of mailman. This is my impression of a dog doing stand-up. <laughs> That's good. They That's good. Uh, yeah. Classic. There's, um, but uh, one time I did a presentation in school where it was like an inventor presentation and you they said they're like okay one student did uh walt disney like any famous anybody that's made anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and they were like for walt disney they dressed up as mickey mouse and gave the presentation (laughs) as mickey mouse okay so i did the present i did um the inventor of pokemon and I dressed up as Pikachu. And I was like, well, Pikachu can't speak English. That's adorable. <laughs> so I, just went, I went like, Pika, Pika, Pika. <laughs> and you got a 100 on your I presentation? I, I believe I lost points. That was the that was the incident at your high school. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu doing Thunderbolt on. Yeah, what was, yeah, what was the incident at your elementary school, though? Um, <laughs> that was, I had, um, we were playing, did you ever play trash kit ball? No, what's it's this? a it's a form of trivia where what? if you get the if you get the question if you get the if you get the review question right for the test you get a chance to shoot a basket into the trash can and whichever side gets more points that of the classroom yeah you familiar. get bonus points on the on the test um and for I was messing around one day and I said I turned to Stephen Mohan who was sitting behind me because we're sitting in alphabetical order um and uh, I said. Uh, uh, I said, whatever the question is, I'm going to answer Eli Whitney because the inventor of the cotton gin. And then we get to me and the teacher says, who was the inventor of the cotton gin? And I stood up and I screamed Eli Whitney. And she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then everybody knew that I was going to say that no matter what. And then, um, and then I missed my three-point basket. So I didn't, get, I didn't get credit for it. It's crazy that they were like, oh, if you get the question right, you get a chance to show your athletic ability. And then, and then I messed it. But man speaking of mailmen i used to do a thing where like i would yell the basketball player's name and then i would run over and like slam it into the trash can and like fall over and knock the trash can over, like, like, sometimes they dunk sometimes they don't sometimes, sometimes it's a dunk <laughs> hey, um, i was playing basketball LeBron! <laughs> i'll get another joke for you after that i okay. was playing basketball in the fifth grade and um uh this one guy, Matt, pants this guy named Jonas. Like, he just pulled his <laughs> pants down. And then he still Yo, shot the pants. basketball. <laughs> and he was like, you supposed make it? Did he make it? Yes. Oh, that's pimp. It was awesome. The guy that got pants. That's like how you own it. It's like yes. you fully just keep going about your business and make a basket? We got to start pantsing people again. Yeah. Hell yeah. Actually, no, we should. Wait. Actually, yes, we should. Guy, get, guy who gets canceled for pantsing somebody. <laughs> 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 that was. Oh my God! Did you hear about so and so? He pants the he mayor. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Harvey Weinstein pants a guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No. It was, it was like it's like uh, I was trying to like I'm tipping toeing with it. I'm wait. I'm jumping back and going. I had an old joke where I would go uh, the way people like yell LeBron when mm-hmm. they like throw a thing. Uh, I've been yelling Seinfeld whenever I observe <laughs> something. <laughs> Seinfeld. Do you ever notice that? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Every time I start acting, I shout. Uh, <laughs> who'd be a good actor to shout? Oh, what's that? Um. Uh. Oh, the, the there there will be blood guy. Uh. Uh. Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis. That's then, the one. That's uh, the yeah. One. yeah. <laughs> when you said Lewis. I was like, who? No one ever calls <laughs> him Lewis. Yeah. Lou Dog. Lou I call Dog. Him. <laughs> <laughs> right, sniffles right now. Sniffle time. Sniffle, sniffle cast. Sniffle Welcome cast. To the sniffle cast. <laughs> 
Whatever, uh, everybody has to uh, smell a bunch of pepper before the podcast, so they sneeze <laughs> a bunch. Welcome to Sneeze Cast. That'd be cool. At you? <laughs> <laughs> I should put like a sneeze should, guard. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of Vicks vapor on. Whoa, <laughs> that's that's inventing. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. Ready? Wow. You want some on yours? On your on the mic? Yes. Yeah, so Is that okay. good for the mic? No, probably not. But now Does I can smell good? it all the time. I'm gonna show the camera. Yeah, for those of you not watching, uh, put Benny just put Vicks some Vicks Vapor Rub. Rub on the the little mic uh, condom thingy. Do you want some? You don't want some? No, it's gonna hurt my nose, or it hurts my it makes my eyes water when oh, I put sure. it too close to my sure, face. Sure, sure. It, it, I love how it feels though. Can I tell you a new joke I have about Vicks Vapor Rub? Of course. Sometimes I like to put Vicks Vapor Rub on my balls and enter the motherfucking zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait. <laughs> what zone uh well so you know how it's like got that like like kind of like cooling yeah <laughs> it's it? just that you just enter the zone yeah yeah it's like so it's like they they it's like i guess like because your balls have a sort of you know how your balls have a sort of heightened allegedly uh, they have taste buds that's what did you ever hear in this rumor? No. They said, so I've been Frenching women this whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What? The taste buds? Allegedly, they have taste buds. And in my college dorm, we made uh, Kelton put his balls in a thing of uh, unsweet iced tea, and he said he could taste it in his mouth. Apparently, you could taste things that your balls touch inside your mouth. Whoa. Allegedly. That's fascinating. I'm, that's like a. We should try that on air out. right now. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. no. Yeah. That, that does seem like a. Uh, I'm, that seems fa- uh, interesting. I'm Have you put Vicks on your balls? Yeah. And does it does it tingle? Yeah. In your mouth. I, the thing is, it's such a strong sensation. I put too much recently, but okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it does in the mouth. I don't. I'm, hmm. hmm. But it does. It does. There's it's a certain like overall. Yeah. It feels. It feels like you kind of. It feels like when you sniff too much rubber cement. <laughs> I used to, dude. I used to I huff used that to all the time as a kid. I didn't know you weren't supposed. I didn't to. know. I like, it just smells cool. good. I it just like that. Yeah, as a yeah. kid, I used to purposely <laughs> spill gasoline on my shirt so I could sniff my shirt because <laughs> I liked how gas. Smelled. <laughs> I guess I was huffing gas. I'm like literally. I literally was the kid in the corner of the class huffing glue. It smells like, good. I, yeah. I used to let. Uh, I used to let glue dry on my hand and pick it off. Yeah. I was dude. a big picker as a kid. Yes, I loved to pick yeah. things. That's what's up. That was. There's a. I was about to start picking my hands right now. I love to. I love to pick. Uh, I actually have a joke about that too. And then, but then I'm gonna. Then I'll derail and I'll ask you how. Like, if you have like, if you similarly have like a joke about all things. But the idea is like, I used to be in the corner class eating glue, uh, and but and, oh, I forget the exact idea. But it's like they, they, you never know when the glow up will happen because now I'm a glue samaya. <laughs> I still have the VIX on the mic. But sorry, do you, um, <laughs> like, if somebody brings up, like, a topic and you have a joke about it, do you sort of, like, I feel like I'm a little obsessively, like, compulsively, like, I, think I have a joke about that. You probably, you know well, I mean? what I do is I try to um, organically go, like, I try to organically make the joke instead. Oh, we've been in the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, which is probably, like, the worst move. Or, because oh, then, sure. then I pretend to riff. I go, oh, what if this happens? <laughs> that it's way worse. I can fully recognize it. From, I'm like, that's in your act. I love to just um, accuse someone of like, if we're having a funny conversation, I just go, are you doing material right now? And, then they, and they're like, no, no. And I go, whatever. <laughs> it's like something where they're like, um, yeah, like my grandma just passed. Are you doing material right now? I mean, are you doing material? <laughs> it's like somebody who you know does like a one person show type thing. And yeah. Like they're telling you something dramatic. Yeah, exactly. actor. Um, dude, are you running that by me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude, you have to tell me when you're doing that. I thought you were just being funny right now. Would you ever do like a one person show? If I had a like a like a okay like a monologue show or like a one woman show. Um, I because uh, I feel like when people do what, your, what would you what what speaks to you in that I space? Feel I feel mean, like. Fuck, bitch. I, like, I have Tourette's by the way for no. anybody watching because I know Meg from online. <laughs> I didn't know you had Tourette's. <laughs> um, it would um i would i like it i don't personally enjoy one woman shows or or one man shows but people there's more one woman shows than one man shows i think would you agree? I, I can't think i can't huh i feel bad for speaking into this pattern maybe but also yes <laughs> I yeah know. i just well yeah it's hard to say i like or i like theater but i don't think i could do a hmm. i don't I don't know. 
I, for me, most of react or most of acting is reacting. Huh. To get a little inside baseball about acting. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I could just um, generate. Do you think all- you could do a, a one woman show if there was a second person in it who you could act off of? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're doing all the lines. They make them. a bunch of faces at me and <laughs> I go, yeah, give me more, give me more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know how you go about writing a one woman show or a one man show. What do you? What, is, is there a plot? You're asking me, I don't know. Yeah, there's <laughs> um, a monologue I used to do uh, for auditions was the opening of a one woman show. It's about hitting a guy in the head with a tuna fish can, <laughs> and that was a fun monologue. But um, well, okay. So, is your goal stand up? Like, are you like specifically like a stand up or uh, comedy? My goal you know? is just to have fun. <laughs> 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 no, I just I just like writing. <laughs> So I'll do anything that's writing related, basically. And I like to laugh. And I make well, myself I guess laugh. My thought is like, would you put out a stand-up hour? If I got an hour eventually, yeah. I th- yeah. By the way, we, very funny stuff. Thank I love you. The, uh, the, just, uh, just recently on the, our show, Live Forever, uh, <laughs> the bit you did about like, uh, sitting on a guy's face. Oh yeah, the, uh, the, it's like trying, trying to hatch your head trying, like an egg. Yeah. <laughs> I, that kills me. Thank you, that's thank so you. Funny. That yeah, was yeah. Um, that's bombed everywhere else I've done it. Really? Uh, yes. It's hilarious. I was like, oh, we're doing one liner. I was like, we're doing silly stuff on yeah. this show. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I could I could get this joke off right now. This is the comedy show you're supposed to do silly material. You're doing silly stuff. Yeah, we're supposed <laughs> to be funny on it. Our show's a little different. You're supposed to be funny. Isn't that? You know what? Okay. Isn't this ridiculous that it's like, that is actually, like, the idea of like being silly is like genuinely subversive in comedy. It's yeah. like, what do you. <laughs> I'm not going up there going like, like <laughs> I'm depressed. I'm just being silly. I like to just be a silly. silly with it. I also not depressed, so it would be bad for me to lie. Because mm. lying is bad. Lying is for bad people. Lying, lying is a sin. You heard it here for yeah. Lying, yeah, right. <laughs> lying yeah. is totally a freaking <laughs> sin. Are you? Were you raised? Um, were you from Texas? I'm from so Texas, like... and I lied about being Jewish my entire life. Uh, really? For attention? No, <laughs> no, no. I started lying. I started. <laughs> no, people on the internet just assumed I was Jewish because I um, uh, my profile picture used to be me wearing a sheriff's badge because I had an obnoxious. And they thought it was a Jewish star. They thought it was a star of David. Is, um, which five star? Five sided though, or is it like? It's a, a sheriff's. Ba- I think sheriff's badge are six points. Really? Yes. Oh shit. Because okay. it's not like just a normal star, and then it was, um, yes. Um, but people online just assumed I was Jewish, and some guy sent me um a Tiffany star of David necklace, huh. and I was like. I'm not going to not wear the Tiffany necklace. <laughs> so then I just started wearing a, Tif- a Tiffany Star of David so that everybody just assumed I was Jewish. And then I just, um, then I moved here and I said, I'm not Jewish anymore. I'm not going to pretend to be Jewish <laughs> Tiffany, anymore. Tiffany Star of David is the fashion police sheriff. <laughs> yes, <star>. yes. <laughs> it's the most exciting. It's like a diamond necklace. I lost it too. This is so. horrible to look at. The Vix? Yes, it kind of looks like you snotted snot on the... But it's actually the opposite. I'm it trying smells to, nice, though. It does, does smell, smell nice. nice. <laughs> that was um, <laughs> no. I was my mu- I was baptized Catholic, but we never mm. went to church. Well, I was thinking, like, just growing up in Texas feels like huh, that you would have been uh, given the idea of sin in a as a, just a general cultural construct around. Yes. You. What part of Texas? Dallas. Uh, Dallas. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a suburb of. I mean, but I mean, from Arlington, which is in between Dallas and Fort Worth. Oh, um, that's so. where fucking. The oh my god, I don't know why I'm blanking. It's literally my favorite TV show. I'm sorry. It's oh, King oh, of the it's King of the Hill. Yeah, 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 King yeah. of the Hill is a. It's from Narlington, which is a combination of Garland, Texas, and Arlington, Texas. I thought they were from. Oh, okay. It's I called were... Narlington. I think they might just. I, I, there's a, we. I got in a big fight about this with one of my coworkers. She was like, "It's not Arlington. It's Garland," and it whatever. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the vibe. Um, but it. Mm. Uh, it's a little more developed than the King of the Hill town. Like, there's like a million people in Arlington, or not a million. Fuck. There's like a lot of people in Arlington, though. Oh, but, really? Um, yeah, like we have Six Flags over Texas. We have uh, what? The Six Flags, the theme, the roller coaster. Oh, gotcha. We have Six gotcha. Flags over Texas. We said Six Flags over Texas. I was like, I know what Six Flags is, but when you said Six Flags the over original. Texas, so I was like, is that like an Alamo type? Thing That's why it's shit? called Six Flags. Do you know about this? No. Okay, so Six Flags Over <laughs> Texas is the original Six Flags. Mm. Um, so it was a the- roller co- theme park <laughs> built in si- Texas, and it was about the six flags that have flown over Texas. So the French flag, the Spanish flag, the American flag, the Confederate flag, the Texas independent flag, and the uh, the United States flag. 
when that's why they named the roller coaster. No, that's why the theme park is called I, Six like, Flags because it's supposed to be like so strange. Yeah, because it's like a it's like a shitty Epcot. Each part of oh. Six Flags <laughs> is a different country, or the Confederate part. They don't have the Confederate part anymore. It'd be so funny getting like authentic Confederate food. From, yes, like, <laughs> Confederate Epcot is so funny. No, they like, um, uh, they took down the Confederate. There's flag. a variety of rifts in that space that I'm like uh, bookmark yeah, that uh, for put a, a pin different in that edgier comedian. Uh, but, put a pin in that. Ow, yeah. <laughs> that's good. put a pin in my. Uh, um, Southern Bell, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. The, oh, <laughs> these roller <laughs> coasters. <laughs> um, there's, okay, so it's all of this. Uh, the countries that were in charge of tax. Oh, the Mexican flag. Did I say Mexico. I, I think so. You can't. You said six. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, something like. That. But yeah. um, uh, so it's all of the countries. Uh, then uh, the uh, Gotham City and Looney Tunes Land. <laughs> so that's all. Uh, and I worked in the Looney Tunes Land when I worked at Six Flags. <laughs> I was the ride operator for the little kids Looney Tunes Land section. Do they have? That's that's cool. It's and awesome. I'm gonna come right back to that. But I do want to the Gotham going to like Gotham Epcot. <laughs> Do they just have like Batman running around yes, after the Joker? Have, yes. It's like <laughs> they're doing Looney Tunes esque style bits, but in like got like there's like a Batman. Yes, like, huh. yes, they um they have like a they don't even That's do great. like shows like Disney World does shows like it was kind of just like a look go take a picture of Batman. They don't like <laughs> they're not very interactive. What's Gotham's local food like? What's pizza in Gotham? Like? There's a really good milkshake stand. <laughs> Something they never they talk really about They did the not commit to the Epcot <laughs> part. There's no good... Excuse me. Oh, my God. Uh, that was a burp. Um, oop. 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 Uh-oh. Burp alert. Um, <laughs> there's no good food in Six Flags. Mm. There's... Well, okay. There's there's a thing called the pink thing, which was a popsicle that was pink lemonade flavored, but they just called it the pink thing. It was pink lemonade, but with a little strawberry twist on it. Huh. And it's a $7 popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good, and then they made them smaller, and they made them shittier recently. Oh. But um, I worked at yeah, I worked at Six Flags. Wait, yeah. So what were you doing in the Looney? You were a ride operator. I was a ride operator in the little kids section, and it was just um, which was nice because you get to be alone in the little kid or like uh, not. It's not nice to be alone with the ki- whatever. Does a roller coaster like go straight into a wall? That was okay. Is that wait. like the bit? <laughs> <laughs> it was so it, <laughs> the it, every day it's like tragic deaths as kids yeah, ram into the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anvil falls on children. <laughs> they, um, the music. They put in, sorry, they put an anvil in one of the seats. He does the loop, the loop, and the anvil like lands yes, back and he goes, uh, uh, the... holds up a little sign and says, "Uh oh." <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, laughs> <anyway. The roller laughs> the um, they didn't play music in this section. They just played the audio from Looney Tunes like cartoons. So like all during the day, it would just go wow, crash, and like it would just be <laughs> there, just be explosions, and then like um, every day when the park opened, it was the the uh every on the top of the, every hour it was the the looney tunes theme song the dun, 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 dun. and that's that gets me hyped every time i hear that <laughs> oh, if i played baseball that would be my walkout music the looney tunes <laughs> song what would be your walkout song oh uh, fuck hmm I don't know. Good question. Yeah, that would come back to me. Well, yeah, Bookmarking book that. that. Yeah. Don't have a thought. Yow. Um, Yow. Yow. <laughs> <laughs> um, one time I like stubbed my toe and I did that yow. Yow. And somebody was like, was that your real reaction? They were like, that's crazy. That's your natural reaction. Huh? I was like, what is wrong with you? I do, yeah, I do a thing where like when I sneeze, I do like really big, huge sneezes. There's like a bit like I go. <gasps> yeah. And like I remember. Um, like an old roommate of mine was like talking about how they said something like 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 that my sneezes were like ridiculous like I like need to like and I was like dude I'm kidding <laughs> I was like it's like a bit I'm obviously joking yeah yeah I don't know <laughs> did you know uh, deaf people don't make snow- sound when they sneeze really because performative it's a it, so they don't hear so they other don't people know. interesting yeah I thought the I knew that for yawns I've only because I I yawn silently and when I heard people like make the noise with yawning I'm I like, hate the yawning that. sound I hate the I'm not gonna do it yeah. <gasps> I hate I hate the yawning there sound this should be a noise you make when you're really awake yeah <laughs> yippee is kind of my go-to sound yeah yeah i've seen you you've, i've seen you say yippee i love to i sincerely yippee, yippee all the time <laughs> and then also i go yay oh it's just like, yay yay <laughs> um, a little flavor flavor coated a little a little 
That's, um, but in the Looney Tunes section, I was, uh, there's small rides, so they only need one person to operate them the entire time. And, um, so I would just, um, this one little girl was like, can you buckle in my stuffed animal for me on the teacup ride? And I thought it was so cute. I started crying. I was like a 15 year old. I was like, yeah, I can buckle in your stuffed animal. And then, um, I just, that is cute. I teared up thinking about that. Um, uh, kids are the future, but, um, oh, yeah. yeah, I, um, yeah, and I would have, I would be on like the, um, there's like one tiny roller coaster that was literally just like one hill and then one like kind of, uh, little corkscrew and then it just did that twice and then i had to be over the like speaker and i'd be like oh all seats check uh visual scan all clear you're gonna die and then i'd send them off they go no and then i would just do bits i'd go like huh? i'd go like uh uh scream if you love school and then they wouldn't scream i'd go scream if you hate homework and then they'd go Woo! and then i'd send them <laughs> off and they'd be screaming it was a lot of fun <laughs> it was it was good to workshop uh kid material do you have that. any jokes that you wrote from that era that you still do in any no capacity? i can't think of I used to call I went to University of North Texas and I would call it the Harvard of I-35 <laughs> which um because it's on it's off the highway and then I learned that off I-35 then I learned that UT is also off I-35 <laughs> so then I was like wait I'm not even right about that I thought the urinary tract was sorry, UT classic. yeah you're UT classic, classic, classic bait classic. and switch UTI UTI University of Texas Interstate the up the up huh? UT it's all backed up <laughs> there's that blood good. on me that works on multiple levels mm -hmm. yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> it's just some sick <laughs> <twisted> <laughs> <one>. <laughs> uh, copyright strike video taken down <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what was, um yeah what was your first job uh i did like random bullshit you know, like in high school mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what the first thing i did was i did an ice i worked in my friend's ice cream truck for a little bit but that was Whoa. like fake that's like we, i like fake jo <laughs> fake funny jobs like that are awesome because <laughs> we like we would deliver ice cream and then like because he he bought an ice cream truck one summer uh like his parents helped him buy it it was like and then but it's like you would sell the ice cream and then uh we would just like play halo it's awesome <laughs> for like a few hours like you'd sell the ice cream and then we'd be like let's ditch this shit yeah fuck the ice like, cream <laughs> business <laughs> yeah that's awesome that's, yeah yeah they used to um i had these two friends in high school that um uh, worked at an ice cream place and they realized that they could get tips if one of them bullied the other one. So, um, like in front of the customers, he would, uh, wow. one of them would like, uh, huh, they'd huh. order and then he'd be like, you're so stupid. I can't believe you can't even get this order and right. Get... And then he'd be like, I'm so sorry. And then people would be like, no, don't worry about it. And then, um, they'd tip at the ice cream no, place. No. They had a, they had old gambit oh, going. That's fucked. It was that's funny. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> um, one thing, one thing I remember is that, um, we would go to automobile dealerships uh, or like, and also like, like the, uh, a major consumer base is like adults, uh, which makes sense. But of it's like, ice cream? Yeah. It would be like um, uh, people who are working in like car shops and stuff as opposed yeah. to, like, as opposed to like, just like children. You would do both. Kids don't have money. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Why are you selling anything to kids? Yeah. The kids don't yeah, have yeah. any jobs. But honestly, I didn't work there that much that was nuts I'm, I'm trying to remember in high school my parents kept trying to make me do different jobs and i would do random bullshit and yeah. then like it, it wouldn't be like real or something i don't know <laughs> so, uh, yeah i worked i worked at six flags and then i worked at um this place called spring creek barbecue um where they if you're a girl your job is called bread girl and they make <laughs> you pass out bread to customers you have to make the bread and pass it out in a big basket and you go hot fresh bread and you it sucked it was the worst job ever <laughs> um and they made uh, this girl I worked with was like the number one harp player in the state. And they made her grab like a tin of uh, buns out of the oven without gloves. And she was like, no, I play harp. I'm not doing this. And she walked out. It was, so, <laughs> it was um, which was kind of awesome. I was like, wait, we could quit. It was the first time I realized we could quit. That's so funny. Um, yeah, I think my favorite job I had was a camp counselor. That was a lot of fun. That's that's, that's like that's the best. Was it at like a normal camp or was it a religious camp? It was at a norm. It was at a nature normal secular camp, but it's for nature stuff. So Whoa. it was like having the kids. Because um, the thing is, like, I would, went to the camp growing up. Uh, it was just like crayfishing and like that kind of thing. That's awesome. And so it's like 
then getting to be like the counselor and like knowing like how fun it is for the kids to do certain things I was yeah like, let's go we're fucking we're in it baby that huh. was um did you ever want to be a teacher yeah i definitely wanted i to wanted be. to yeah. um huh. Huh. i think i i could leave it all behind huh. i could go i could go teach in the uh, upper peninsula of michigan or somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> somewhere that's a, no one is around <laughs> what would you teach english i have an english really? degree oh really um, yeah that's what huh. I, i'd be reading books <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be writing but um do you read much yeah yeah i'm getting back into reading Meg, i'm gonna give you a chance to go to go a little a little smart brag <laughs> mode uh, uh and i want what and why you know i take yeah i know you're reading infinite jazz <laughs> so but I, I, it's like uh you read a lot you're like a big reader you're i like was reading knowledge um, hound I got into this phase where I was reading just a bunch of plays because I really I like reading plays, um, but it's also uh, a very satisfying. You can a play is not that long. A play is maybe a hundred pages. A long one would be a hundred pages. And you can just sit down and just read a whole play really fast. Mm. Um, and I really and I like a lot of plays. And so I, that was that had been what I was reading. I hadn't read a book for fun in like a year. Like it would it took I. I was just working so much and then like my job like wouldn't let me like i had no down i had no real downtime and also i was just best friends with all my coworkers, so i couldn't oh, read sure. out <laughs> Wait, I, we were I just would, goofing off all the time <laughs> that's what's up that is fun i would be remiss though not to specifically ask how infinite jest is infinite going jest i feel is like so this good. is uh okay i, I would infinite like you to speak jest. i i'd like two things in this moment uh one <laughs> the the book itself maybe talk about but also uh the cultural pattern i think we talked a little yes. bit about how people made fun of that and it's like not a real idea i want you to yeah I, I, I want you to tell and go to the people to the people listening oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Infinite Je- people don't even know what infinite jest is about because um, every time i tell somebody i read infinite jest they're like oh cool like what is, like because uh, people that haven't read it that lie and say they've read it don't have an answer to that question they go it's hamlet at a tennis academy which doesn't make that doesn't mean anything and that's also not what it's about there's like three plot points and if okay okay in infinite jest there is a kid named uh hal and his dad was the founder of this tennis academy in boston and then his dad dies or he he commits suicide and then he um uh his mom is sleeping with the, his uncle um but it's like his it's his uncle on his mom's side but they're half siblings and then um so okay how is that a tennis academy that's the first plot point there's a um a rehab facility down the hill from the tennis academy that's the second like big plot that's going on the other plot is that his brother orin is uh being tracked by um a Quebecois uh, wheelchair assassin group, <laughs> um, which is just very, it's very fun. And then, um, because in the future, um, America and uh, Canada are one big country. Oh, cool. um, <laughs> uh, and then um, they, uh, but then there's separationists it's from Canada. It's, 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 it's very funny. Parts okay. of it are very funny. Parts of it are really sad. Or, right, um, um i've been listening to a lot of interviews with i've like i'm kind of accidentally in love with david foster wallace i've nice. been like listening to interviews. Oh, not much sorry, not sorry, much sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, i've been listening to interviews with him uh, from him and like falling asleep to them <laughs> i keep having <laughs> dreams with him in them cool nice. i'm like kind of losing my mind <laughs> um but um the one fish uh i wouldn't one fish says to the other fish, uh, two fish is, are swimming. One goes, This is a uh, nice water day. The other fish goes, Yep, I love water. I love water. It's tasty. I love water. I love water. The portions are terrible, glub, glub, though. Glub, glub, glub. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, yeah, the, and the portions, <laughs> the, the, the 70% of the world. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> uh, have huh? you seen Catch Me If You Can? I think so. He's like, yeah, Two, yeah, two mice the are, in the, are in the milk, and one of them dies, and then the other runs in the milk so hard he turns it into cream and he crawls out. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I, vaguely. It's like a, that's like a quote from the movie. It's like, a, it's like, like some a sort parable. of nice parable it's, about being in milk cream. It's about working he tries hard. To skip the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many i love a parable it's about mice not drowning it's about, it's about drowning mice and milk. of mice and drowning of mice and of milk, mice and milk. <laughs> um <laughs> they, uh yeah but if it, it's good it's good yeah. um and everybody that's mad fuck, about fuck, it fuck. is like the 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 girly or not the girl the, the the stereotype it's the same you know how on tiktok now everybody's like making fun of a guy that likes foreign films 
they're like are they're just like pretentious film people sure um sure, sure, sure. it's like it, it, that's like a stereotype of a guy that doesn't exist and then the infinite jest stereotype of like oh this guy has bad dick and he has infinite jest on his uh nightstand and he uh and he's pretentious but like i've never met that guy mm. i that guy was probably like a gen xer like 30 mm. years or tw- i guess the book has only been out for like 25 years but like 25 years ago maybe that guy existed but like david foster wallace also wasn't that guy but there's a stereotype that david foster wallace was like a annoying like I don't even know. I don't even know where it came. It, it came from. There was a like a uh, like a New York Times article in like 2014 of this lady being like, "This is the type of guys you're gonna date in Brooklyn." Uh, he's got infinite jest on his nightstand. And then also like two years later, some girl did a performance piece where she ate all of infinite jest on stage. <laughs> like she ate the wow. pages, which I was cool. like, I don't know okay. what I don't know what sure. you're saying. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and then and then it just became a thing. It became a joke, or it's like a punchline, but like the joke isn't funny. Or there's no joke. It's just a punchline. I don't oh, yeah. even know. Yeah, but um, it's a good book. It's very good. I've had it for. I'll check it out. Yeah, it's very. If the first sixty pages are made to uh, make you not want to keep reading it, really, like every sci-fi book. <laughs> you know how like the first hundred pages of Dune is awful. No, I didn't know that. Have you read Dune? No. I can't get past the first hundred pages because it's just <laughs> aw- it's just world building. I don't give a fuck about world building ever. <laughs> I don't read things for the world. Wanna I read them a, for the character. Want to hear a joke? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Read, reading a book. They should make this into an IMAX movie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this book is okay, but it has IMAX. <laughs> I can really picture it better. Oh, um, <laughs> they yeah they oh no if it just could. I know, well, yeah, oh, hell yeah, it's and that cool. rules. It is funny. Okay, uh, two directions, and uh, just quick tangent of the idea of. Um, I think a lot of people is trying to work with this idea of like when people like talk about a type of guy or something, mm-hmm. they'll be like they're all wearing this hat. Mm-hmm. It's like that's because fashion is like a mass-produced global fast fashion mm-hmm. industry type thing, and like they made. I sort of I'm working with this idea lately, but it's like they made like they make twenty million of those hats. That's why that's a hat now. Yes. That's why people are wearing those hats is because it's for sale recently. Yes, and uh, they advertise it. Or, or and yeah. fashion's supposed to be, uh, this is your personality when you wear this thing. Which yeah. like, yeah, yeah. But then if people, uh, if they make a billion of the hat, you could <laughs> just, it's just the guy that wears the hat. That's their hat now. Yeah. Hats are uh, so fascinating. But there's also, it's also valid, though, at the same time to be like, and there's... Uh, patterns of ideas and types of people who are trying to look a certain way and those sorts of people who are trying to be the sensitive bad boy or something yes. will buy that specific type of hat so it is so i don't know i'm still working with this idea but anyway jumping back uh the other path i, I just wanted to briefly go like the idea of types of guys are always so loaded with certain like patterns of what people it's like what's for sale anyway yes, anyway yes. um but coming back um I want to know why, what made you decide to investigate uh, Infinite Jest on your own there was this, separately from them. Yeah, There's this quote that. that I saw. that um, uh, The quote is literally just, uh, everything I've ever left has claw marks in it, mm. um, which I was just like, Whoa. Like Monster Energy? Yes, yes. Everything I've ever... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, with the Leash the Beast. <laughs> um, which I just kept like... Um, I was just like being crazy. I was like, this is the best quote. I was like, wow, everything I ever left has had claw bar. I was like, what? <laughs> it, 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 I don't even know. Wait, yeah. David Foster Wallace chugging a monster. Wait, I actually love this cruise. Wait, wait. Cruise is fucking <laughs> slap. You can, sorry, that's a... <laughs> it's no, about that that's, essay or whatever if people but, that's one of the only things I've read of it I like that essay a lot I get the cruise essay is great um, yeah. consider the lobsters good um, what's that about lobsters I read it in high school it's about like Maine okay it's, it's, <laughs> um, uh, what else, uh, Wait, so you like that quote and you're like let me I, check this for I like that quote and I was just like if this if, there, if this one line is such a banger this book has to be filled with banger lines and mm-hmm. it is like every like yeah. What are some favorites, Meg? Oh my gosh! What is for the um, people at home? For the people at home, for uh, uh, the infinite just quotes. There's one that's um, uh, there's this whole chapter about like uh, things you learn at rehab or like the mm. uh, different lessons you learn from people. And then he like um, oh my god! There's so many um, there's so many just really funny one-liners in that chapter. I don't remember them right now. I keep posting them on Twitter though. Or I keep taking pictures and posting them. Oh, there's one that's really good about um, uh, how when you uh are trying to, uh, a destiny will just like, uh, uh, 
something about like trying to control your life is it never uh, oh, i can't remember this i'm not doing this quote justice it's so good or like it's like uh destiny is more of like a trench coated guy in an alleyway that's gonna go psst at you um mm. and it's never anything that you're actually trying to manufacture i saw that you, i you love that, that quote. Uh, that's from quote. infinite yeah, just yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that was think about that actually. i love yeah. that quote it's so <laughs> good i'm not doing it justice right now but um and that's also in like a very funny chapter. Uh, the, the book is funny. It's life just, gives you wings. When life gives you wings. <laughs> when life gives you wings. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's all Red Bull. It's all just uh, energy. <laughs> it's all, yeah. She <laughs> drinks stuff, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a good book. What's your favorite book? Do, 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 do. Let me list books for you. 100 Years of Solitude, I like the line. I haven't read that one. It's good. I got it. I don't know. Not like a... Um, I'm not an avid reader, but I read once in a while. One, it, it's a, I'll, it takes like a book that really gets me to like, or like that. Because sometimes I'll start reading, I'll be like, Wah, not for me. And then <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll get, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I just thought that 100 Years of Solitude is like, uh, you familiar with it? Yeah, idea? yeah. Okay, yeah, just, I don't know. I just, I was like, almost every. It was like almost every line I thought was just like really beautiful. I love like when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. It has to, yeah. There's um, uh, a lot of, lot, everybody's reading porn nowadays. No? no? I'm <laughs> watching it. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? What? I thought we were watching it. I thought we were oh, you mean with captions? <laughs> yes. Do you yes. like your porn subbed or dubbed? <sighs> oh, yes. Definitely you are dubbed. fucking me right yeah. now. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> they do the, they do the, it's Japanese porn and it's been and it's been um, uh, dubbed, and they're doing all the um, they're like they're making them all have like American accents except for the moans, which they still do Japanese yes, woman style. Like the, yes, yes. <laughs> um, what, what which, is, by the way, why do they do that? Like why? That? What is that about? What are I they doing? That, that makes me realize that like cultural patterns of like sexual noises and moaning are like even are like influenced by like media. I think most like, moaning is, is performative. Oh yeah. I think uh, which like that, um, huh. this I, maybe, uh, I yeah which okay I'll maybe tell just you, for I'll tell you, you want to hear a Gary, Gary Shandling joke? Mm -hmm. He goes um uh you know uh they say you know uh, where it's like uh, women can have like multiple orgasms. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Sorry. So that's a little bit of a... Uh, I don't want to weigh in on whether or not moaning is performative because that, that I feel like reflects on me a little no, bit. No, no. It's like, yeah, nobody's ever moaned. As, a, like, <laughs> as a performative... <laughs> well, like, I think like if when you're constantly moaning, it's like... Shut ah! up! Shut up! Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah! Yes, <laughs> Sorry, yes, yes, you should be yippee. Yeah, yippee. what are you guys moaning? Why aren't you saying yippee during sex? Um, uh, I keep doing bits during sex, and it's making people mad at me. I actually haven't done this in a while. Um, uh, what did I? I started. Um, I get bored. During sex. Yeah. So I, I was like, "There's not enough enrichment in my enclosure right now." And then I like, I like started singing the SpongeBob theme song. And he was like, "You got to stop right now." <laughs> I haven't had sex in a while. That's. <laughs> I got no more bits. No more no more sex bits. But um. Yeah. I don't want to do a sex bit. I still have Tourette's when I'm having sex, so I'll be in the pussy like... Huah! I'm trying to figure out if I can say that line like that. Is, I, is, is that, is that um, A-A-V-E to go, I'll be in the pussy like that? No. Uh, the, the, just the, the, the verb phrase of be in that sense. The like, habitual be. Yeah, habitual yeah. be. But I'm trying to figure out... I don't think it is it's, exactly. No, I think I'll, it's, I'll think about it more. It's more of internet speak now, I think. It's kind of turned into a, Interesting. a different, right. yeah, or yeah. like uh, uh, bitches be like. Mm, uh, totally. Yeah, the habitual be is not entirely. Habitual is a useful phrase. Yes, because it, 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 it implies a permanent state of being. Mm, totally. It's, I'm also not going I be in the, I'm going all be. I'll be, yeah, yeah. It's yes. a different type of. Because it anyway. means, it, it, uh Versus like what? I am in the pussy versus I be or I'll be. I'll frequently be in the pussy. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> actually, it might be funnier if I like really try to like. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you go like old to tie me with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I, the habitual be is uh, it's useful because mm -hmm. it, it implies a state of a state of existing. I, I know think. someone agree with you. Sex is no good. Sex is bad. Sex is bad. Um, guys, yeah. I'm glad we agree. agree. This. Thank God. <laughs> For, <sighs> this is the anti-sex podcast. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> David Foster Wallace mm -hmm. and the Don. The <laughs> <That's> <laughs>
<laughs> um, no, I. Um, yeah. You ever go to a girl's house? And she's got David. She's got infinite jest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's how you know you're getting into some trouble. <laughs> that's how you know that pussy gonna be doing bits. Mm-hmm. I'm, sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You ever um, <laughs> that? Now I'm just thinking about. I can't. I have to. Uh, no more. No more sex. No more mm. Megan sex. Um, sex is. I it's sex is pervasive weird. in society uh-huh. in this way that I find fascinating. I don't know. I mean, that's not like a me thing. That's not like a new thing. That's not a clever new observation on my part. But it is like um, like I'll be walking around the street and I'm like, when you see like people like really like who are clearly done up or looking good in certain ways, I'm like, that's so that somebody will fuck you. I don't know. Yes. It's like a, I don't know, I find it interesting. Yes, that's um, at least to some degree. I found I was discussing this the other day with my friends, or I was like, um, uh. F- f- I was talking to the fellas, and I was like, wait, when you guys see a beautiful woman on the street, you think that you want to have sex with her? You don't just think she's beautiful? They're, they're like, oh, I would like to have sex with that woman. Mm. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, that's weird. <laughs> I, was like, I, I was like, that's a <laughs> I don't, <laughs> like, you don't just think, wow, that person looks awesome. Uh, which, maybe I'm a... That person um, looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that, person look, that person looks so cool. I don't know. I think I just, maybe, maybe that's boy brain. <laughs> I'd be on the train like, God, I want to be... God, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, I don't know. It also, I mean, it's not like you're walking down the street and like always just like wood, just wood, wood. You know, it's, wood. Like a, it's like you know, I mean, you know, you're thinking any sort of thought at yeah, all. Patrick all. Bateman, you know I mean? just uh, wood, wood. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, uh, speaking of wood, my Nintendo Wii comes into my in the mail today. No, oh. I bought a refurbished Wii. Nice, but um, I'm scared because I got the. Speaking of wood, speaking of wood, I don't know how that transitions. <laughs> um, uh, I was trying to figure that out. I was like, "What do you mean?" I don't know. I don't okay. know. Um, they, but um, somebody it said that they left my package with a person. Oh, I got the same thing. I, I was like that. I was like. I had a thing stolen because they were like, we, no! hand, we handed it to somebody. No! And I was like, no, you didn't. I wasn't. I'm so scared. About? Maybe yeah. they just marked the thing wrong then. Oh, man. I hope my weed didn't oh, get stolen. Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> I had to rush home. Check Sorry. on my weed. No, Sorry. it's okay. No, no. <laughs> it would have happened. Here's the thing. Even if I was home, it still would have. Somebody would have taken. Or because they said they gave it to somebody. What are you, what are you trying to play with the weed, by the way? What's yeah. the plan? I would play Wii Sports. Nice. I just miss Wii ba- Sports Baseball. <laughs> That was my favorite game. Um, I also want to play. I lo- I was like, should I get a Wii or should I get a GameCube? But you can play GameCube games on a Wii. Mm-hmm. So why would I not get a Wii to play both? Um, and I miss. This why not a Switch? Is it? Uh, no, I want like the Wii controller and stuff. No, you like can't the- play Wii games on the Switch. Really? Yeah, yeah. They don't have Wii Sports. Oh, it's different. Okay. Or like the motion control on the. It's like it doesn't feel the same. It's not the same. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I miss. Uh, I just like that. and and you can't play GameCube games on the Switch. Oh. You can play GameCube games on the Wii. I didn't know You that. can plug in a GameCube controller to the Wii. And I want to play huh. Simpsons Hit and Run really bad. Oh, that's a great game. I love Simpsons that's Hit fun. and Run. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto, but it's Bart. Yes. Yeah, did, yeah. You, did you play it yeah. as a kid? Yeah. I, I um, you know when you can kick Millhouse down the mountain? I don't remember the exact I would ideas. Kick, I would spend hours kicking Millhouse down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> you just kick him and he goes, wow. And then he like, just tumbles down. I, I remember... Um, like the rocket car. Yes. I just remember like all the, it was like more interesting cars than you could get in like yes. other games. So I remember like just driving around and doing bullshit. There's the nuclear car that has a little thing. That uh, sounds so Lisa familiar. has a little like uh, Malibu Stacy Corvette. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I loved playing as Lisa, even though she looks, the, her model is the worst in the game. Oh. Like her hair <laughs> is just disgusting looking. But. I used to play Grand Theft Auto in like fourth grade. That's like, good for your brain. Probably. <laughs> That's probably good for you. I, I don't think it was, it's like it, you don't. It's not that bad. You're just. No. It's like you under. I think you're still even at that age, able to able like you're able to parse like. Uh, which yes, Grand I'm Theft Auto crime. was it though? I don't remember. Was it the second like one or four? the first one? You're Two, playing Grand Theft Four in fourth grade. Three. I don't know. I don't remember. It's probably one of the yeah three. PS2. What system? Oh, two. It's probably Grand Theft Auto Two or something. Okay, probably. Did they look yeah. blocky? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably two. Okay, I don't really know the Grand Theft Autos. I think one is like not one looks totally different from the other ones. Mm. I love what I love when a video game series like you look back at like the first ones and it's like fully a different type yes. of game. Like um uh like like Doom like Fallout or yes, whatever. Fallout's one, yeah, yes. It's like it's like it's like this used to be like a I don't know, like a fucking click point. Like an RPG click. or like a D and D simulator yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you ever play Disco Elysium? I did. It wasn't uh 
and I think maybe some people will get you're mad hot, at me for saying it. it's not my thing. Come in. I like when a game has game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to. Penny, I'm not trying to play a book. That's crazy. I don't know. I, I'm. A, They're gonna I mean, kill you I for that. <laughs> people keep. People keep telling me to give it another shot. And I. How probably, far did you get? Not that far because I got bored. Yeah. I was like, look, I understand this is a good book, but I wanted to play a video game right now. Yeah, yeah. I. I play. Um, I used to play a bunch of dating sims, so it's kind of like a more intense dating sim. I watch those sim. videos. I love dating sims. They're so <laughs> okay. fun. Yeah, but, but um, there's there's an exciting one uh, coming out next month. I literally, I was like, I want to play a medieval dating sim. It's from a girl perspective. It's like you're, uh, you, you're uh, I don't even remember the name. Of it. I have it in my Steam wish list. I don't play video games, but I play shitty dating sims because they're a lot nice. of fun. <laughs> this one looks good though. It's like you're you're the princess and the king gets assassinated and then you become the the queen and then there's a bunch of like uh uh you have to also like put in laws and you have to hear uh like requests from like uh, your citizens. So there's a lot but you also are in love with the with the, there's like four <laughs> different like romantic options. Um That's cool. they're a lot of fun. Did you play Stardew Valley? I hate Stardew Valley. You hate Stardew Valley? I hate Stardew Valley. Really? Why? I it's can't have fun. sex with all the characters. Oh. I That's what it. I play video games for. That's not <laughs> really. I hate farming you in hate a game. It. Oh. I don't want to farm. Okay. That's And that's the game is a farm game. I enjoy good farming. I Interesting. Think there's, I think there's bad farming. I think like the old Facebook games where it's like based on real world time. Oh my God. I those that, are evil. Those yeah, suck. I think yeah. that's like, that's actively bad. I think that really fucked up things like Farmville. Yeah. But I think that like... These sorts of games, you can just go to bed and it's the next day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's like I think that's a very different. Like it's not it's not they're not it's not like an evil. Um, yeah. Trying to get you to watch advertisements. I live, think. You know what I mean? My thing with uh, Stardew Valley, I played it during COVID, is that like you can. It's really a game of how much time you put into this is how much you get out of it. I think um, because some people like build like machines to like drill and st or like you can get cr really crazy with it in stardew valley with like the um the irrigation systems and the uh the like ways huh. to pick crops and stuff i don't know did you, how deep did I'm, you get into Stardew? well valley? i think you have to get mods to get like stuff like that because otherwise well. the irrigation stuff you can do is pretty much just sprinklers oh I don't know. Anything beyond... Like, if you have, like, a tractor or something, that means that somebody added, like, a... No way. ...mod or something. I've been watching modded YouTube content. I think so, yeah. All my entire you YouTube... you watch a lot of modded Stardew Valley YouTube, yes, but you haven't actually watched watch. it. Yeah. My entire YouTube algorithm is only about video games. Same. But, that's like, but I'm watching them. You, yes, that's yes. Nice. Scott the Waz. <laughs> <laughs> that's huh? like, What's this? Scott the Waz. Have you seen him? Maybe. He's Who's very... This? He's just a sweet boy. He's just... He's just um, <laughs> like, talking <laughs> about Nintendo games all the time. It's fun. Okay. Here's a thought. There's certain, like celebrities within yes. micro I love that yeah that it's like you know this guy and like there's probably so many people who know there's this people we don't guy. even know that are celebrities but there are celebrities in their communities yeah I, I, th yeah. I think that's very interesting you're kind of a, a little you're a little celeb in a, in a, in a Twitter in a Twitter space. sense yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I'll take that I'll take that <laughs> and you're a celeb in a real world sense I don't know that's I don't I actually don't. I don't understand what's happening with that. That doesn't. Does that make sense? It's yeah. not. It hasn't fully. Do people recognize you? Sometimes, but it's not. But it's not like I'm not like um, hounded in any sense. Like it'll yes. be like a random person once in a while. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's like. Um, are you it, still? Are you charmed by that, or are you scared? I'm charmed. I'm definitely charmed. Um, but it's any crazy girls? They're like, oh my god, Benny! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Wow. Um, but I, but I. Uh, I don't know. I guess. Um, I mean, the goal is. I mean, the goal. The end goal is not celeb status. Correct. But in order to have a career in comedy, you have to have a certain degree of public visibility. Yes. Um, and so it's like that is a milestone slash marker. And but uh, but there's like a. I don't. Uh, I don't know to what degree I am known. It doesn't make any sense to me. That makes sense because because you can't see it from yourself. You know what I mean? Yes. And yeah. also, people know you and they don't approach you too. That's true too. Yes. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And then sometimes people will be scary and say, "Were you at this bar at this time?" And I go, <laughs> "I go, yes, but just say hi next time. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to DM me." Something funny is people will not recognize me until I have a Tourette's tick. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. They'll go, no. "You're on Reddit." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you get you get recognized fairly frequently? Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, when I go out or like when I go to a bar, what normally is when I get recognized the most. Or I, I guess that's when people are being so. Yeah, it's mostly from, from Twitter. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Twitter yeah. or TikTok. The TikTok ones are interesting to me because that's like, um, uh, that's more rare or like or mm. I don't know because that's uh, Twitter or TikTok will just show your stuff to anybody. Mm. So like any random person would be like, oh, I saw you on TikTok, and that's crazy With to me twitter people see you can it's like a consistent relationship parasocial yes relationship yes they have. and also where, where they're bookmarking your yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they got the my one notifications that, the one that broke that i broke the bookmarking the... news yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was, that was Wait, oh I'm, by the way i read your um <laughs> i read your know your meme like profile oh thing. yeah yeah uh fascinating i didn't realize that you had the bunch of cultural stuff yes. and by the way the pirate uh pirate you already mentioned that you uh that you said I that. workshopped pirate you cowboy workshopped. samurai on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I met I Benny at a bar and I said that. Uh, yeah, and then I got home later and I saw this viral TikTok yes. from you and I was like, oh, that's very funny. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, little. And I me. said pirate, by the way, for which the record. The wrong answer. Which is the wrong answer. The wrong, that's the problematic answer. But I said it for the idea of being a ship going yes. person. Which, Sorry. unfortunately, I am most attracted to pirates out of those three so folks so you heard it here first folks I heard it here. yeah <laughs> yeah huh? but oh um, no yeah yeah the um, and i flirted at a bar previously mm-hmm. and me and benny are in is. love that's <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's the context of that yes benny yeah. and i love to flirt with each other but um <laughs> what was it? i got so flustered by flirting um that went viral Yes, that was yeah, that yeah. one popped off. Did you know that was going viral at the time? No, I you, made you that. You also got home and were like, "What?" Yes, okay. uh, yes, because yeah. I was, I was like, I have to not be on my phone. I'm at the bar with with um, uh, the new love of my life, Benny, and um, <laughs> uh, that I that I got home and I was, it literally had like I I got home and it was at a million views. I think like mm. it, within like five hours, I was like, "Whoa, what just happened?" <laughs> Might have been only like three hours or something. It was very crazy. Um, I have my TikTok notifications turned off because it um, is bad for you to have notifications on. I think. Um, I oh tw- yeah. No, I have my Twitter. Uh, yeah. not- I have all of my notifications turned off for every social media yeah, app. Um, oh no, I take it back. I have it on for. I have some on for Instagram. I should it. have my messages on for Instagram. That's what I have on, yeah. But it's like you might get booked or something. Yes. But, Fuck. Um, I guess I just I, I I check it enough to where I'm not worried about it. But um, yeah, yeah. Totally. That's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what were some of the other ones? You had the, that one? The you Joss had... Whedon one. Did you what see was that? that? It was um, movies if they were written by Joss Whedon. <laughs> and it was just like very on the nose dialogue. Or um, the first one was like uh, Silence of the Lambs. And it was like, your name's Hannibal and you're a cannibal. <laughs> kind of on the nose, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, um, uh, there was one with Saw that was like... Uh, uh, oh great! What do you want to do with what do you want us to do with these saws? It was didn't make any sense. It was just like making fun of Josh yeah. Sweden. There were other um, small penis fall mm. was the, my bigger one too. That was I just said uh, it was after Hot Girl Summer. I said Hot Girl Summer is over. Fall. It's time for Small Penis yeah, Fall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do yeah. how? By the way, how does it feel? I here's here's a thought. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've done anything like that. Like, yeah, every idea I've had, I don't think it's like. Uh, flipped the token of culture in any capacity, but I, but I think you have a series of ones that have like sort of like you've sort of flipped, get the ball rolling a you've little flipped bit. The, you've done a couple like ball roll cultural ideas. It's it's um it's fun to see it uh leave your grasp. Yeah. Or when because when yeah. I did the Josh Whedon thing, and then other people started doing it, I was like, haha, yeah, guys. And then uh, <laughs> I was like, yes, yes. And then um uh. And then um, with the Pirate Cowboy Samurai, um, a bunch of people that like anime really loved that because <laughs> like Naruto is ninja, which is kind of sad. Oh, some people adding to it and they were like people, knight and you were like knight is... I was like, that's not yeah, my... Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe make your own question. No, because <laughs> they would comment, they'd be like, you forgot ninja, you forgot knight. And I was like, actually I didn't because it was my question and you are... you Make, make your own question. Uh <laughs> I was like, first of all, if you if you want to be a knight, that's sus. You're serving a you're serving a king, but that you don't want to be a knight. Yeah, I don't know. So that just like white knight, pure yeah. chivalry type, like good boy type. Exactly. Yeah, if everything you want with knight is in samurai, you just want to make it a mm. different thing. Um, because I don't even know. I yeah, <laughs> I, <laughs> cowboy's still the right answer, but um. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's fun watching. Th- I also think that's what I've always I said about like um being popular on different types of social media, like kind of 
get you different types of attention. Um, I'm, I'm not. I've noticed. This, yes, so. I've, I Twitter being popular That's on just Twitter. Me saying, same, same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Twitter gets you media attention because Twitter is the journalist social media. Mm. So journalists will follow you and they'll go, "Oh, this person's starting something. Let me pick this up as a story." Mm. Um, TikTok's kind of doing that. Now. TikTok, you have to like pop off first to um, get. Uh, okay, YouTube tr- YouTube popularity translates into real life popularity because YouTube is like legacy media at this point. Mm. I think. I, I, I felt that for Instagram. Instagram, Instagram to me felt like that was the one. Like, yes. I, like I had like TikTok. I had like initially, and that felt like it was almost essentially like nothing. That felt like yes, nobody that even, one. It's that's the I void. It's like, it, it like weirdly a void. TikTok's the I void. Like, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, YouTube, I think, like, or because YouTubers can like go on tour and just do YouTube mm, live, yeah. and it's but and they sell out. Um, but I guess you have to be very popular. And you, people love YouTube though. Um, but fuck, yeah, fuck. um, Inst- Instagram, I've always seen as being uh, uh, you get attention from your peers. Uh, then Twitter is for impressing strangers, kind of, or like because mm. you're like Instagram has always been like you follow your friends on there. Would well, you post reels? I guess yes, but they're mostly just like I post reels when they're TikToks that do good. Okay, yeah, because well, I don't okay. I don't want to bother my Instagram followers with the TikToks that I'm just kind of riffing out. Oh, I see. Because because t- TikTok's the void. And then if something does go get in the void, then I do it on Twi- on Instagram. Yeah, so. no, absolutely. I'll, that's my. I also will like first do a TikTok. Test it on TikTok. If it doesn't yeah. do well, then I'm like, all right, it needs to be re- yes. reworked. But I guess the thing is like Instagram now it's a it's a weird one where it's a combination of like my old friends yeah. and like everybody I've ever known in my life yes. as well as strangers. And so I like I if, if putting a piece of content there, it has to be very like yes. to be higher quality. But also when I do put something there, everybody does see it. Yes, because um, everybody that knows yeah. you in real life will just like your post because they like you. Yeah, uh, then that like kind of boosts it. It's very yes. confusing. Yeah. It's because, it, but I don't want to yeah. bother my friends in real life with my <laughs> shitty posts. So I don't know. I think the algorithm takes that into account. By the way, just if just your followers like it, or if well, I think it. I think they first show it to just the people that follow you initially. Yes. to be like, how well does it do? With the people who already like yes. you. I think it's the ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, if the, it does poorly with the people that already like you, it's not, they're, they're not going to show it to anybody that. else. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, that, but if it does really well with the people that follow you, mm-hmm. then it'll go, we'll start, show it to strangers. Yeah. Now. They go, are your friends posting this on your story <laughs> in, in yeah, hopes yeah, yeah. that one day you'll post their post on your story? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is yeah. yes. Um, no, I don't um, know. Sorry to speculate on the algorithm. Yeah, I feel sorry, like guys. To sorry. inside baseball. <laughs> I love saying inside baseball. That's my new phrase. I'm inside the baseball. Oh, inside ah! baseball. It's dark in here. <laughs> um, ah! Me and Noah were uh, we're doing uh, we we said uh, uh, umpire that outs gay baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes. He just goes. You're out. He goes. I didn't tell anybody yet. <laughs> That's all. That's it. That's a cute That's cutaway gag. Closet. Yeah. Yeah. Inside baseball closet. Inside baseball closet. I'm um, inside the. That's the locker room. That's. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. I wish Sorry. I could whistle. Can you whistle? I can do it through my teeth in a weird way. Let I can me. do like a bird noise. And let me hear it. No, I can't. Nope. Do it. Nope. <laughs> no, I can't really do it. That's the most I can whistle. This is good. This is a good podcast. <laughs> like blowing into a microphone. This is great. This actually was good podcast. I would say I, um, I, like, I don't care about podcasting. As, it's a, like, as an it's, art form? As an, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to like, do, I'm like doing it. Like I do, I do want to have a good time and have a good podcast with the homies and the guests. But I am like, I, I've sort of part of why I'm deliberately like pulling back from it is because I don't want it to be like a, I don't want my podcast to be like a comedy vehicle for career. You know what I mean? Yes. No, I don't want to, I don't want to get stuck in the podcast career. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yes, but I, but people love podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think that's going away for I don't know. Um, I want it to be a little special treat for once in a while. Yes, you know yes. I mean? Like it's so good that they only get it every every once a month, maybe. Because I think it, it, the less I do it, I think the better it is. Also, because I have an excitement coming to it. Yes. You know I mean? I, if I had to do two podcasts a week with the <laughs> same three or two guy or two friends, um, I would I would run out of things to talk about. <laughs> I think. Um, I think you, I, you don't do a podcast, do you? No. You would, you would be you would do a good 
But is that why? Maybe that's why you're a good guest, because like because I, I have that energy saved up, and you're you think about thoughts. I also just have a lot of stories that I could just say all right. the time. I don't know. I maybe folks, we folks, talked. We talked for like an hour and a half, and we didn't we even, even did the pod. And yeah, we were just cooking. Yeah, I would say um, uh, we're almost at an hour, so I'll say my guest this week is Meg Mitchell, ah, <laughs> and uh, she's a very funny comedian. Uh, does a, a hilarious sketches that are pretty much always funny. Like Meg is one of the best joke people in the biz. Thank you, thank you, Betty. Folks, and on that note, do you have anything to plug? Um, I have a sketch show at uh, Brooklyn Comedy Collective. It's April, gonna be good. I just read April the script. 16th. for one of the Yeah, he just read the closer. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're if you're, uh, it's all girls. So if you're a fella and you want to come to the all girl show um i think also most of the crowd is all girls right now based so on is my audience so that's was it really no <laughs> this is this is weird for me because my audience is like the the ratio breakdown on my audience is really bad what's, your, what's yours mine's like 85 percent guys mine's 95 guys 95 percent guy <laughs> like five percent girl it's gotten really? better recently um that's surprising I mean, it's also not surprising. It's also there's not a, surprising. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bit of a mix, but like, um, well, okay, I I could see why the fellas are coming in initially from, uh, yeah, the, you know, the, uh, any any sort of content where that's it's like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like because uh, that video where I'm uh, a mouse and the cheese is under the box, or I'm not even a mouse. You know the video I'm talking about, the, uh, where I go, uh, I want that vaguely. cheese, but it's yeah, under yeah, the yeah. box. Yeah, all of the comments on that were the horniest comments of all oh, time, sure. and I thought that was just a silly video. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm a, uh, it's just Looney Tunes style jokes, mm-hmm. and people were like, I need her so bad, and I was <laughs> like, guys, guys, chill. <laughs> I'm fully clothed. There's no cleavage. It was, so I don't even know. <laughs> I'm never gonna get away from it, but yeah, the fellas love me. The boys love me. All boys love me. Everybody's got. Everybody's in love with me. Oh yeah, it's so hard. You're in love with me. Um, we almost went on two dates. Yes, yes. Um, and then I kept rescheduling because <laughs> I suck. But but they were two movie dates, so that doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't really count. It doesn't count because you can't talk. Who did I fumble Meg or did she fumble me? No, I fumbled. That's the question for all time. And now this is a date. Twi- you guys watched us go on a date. Twice, actually. I'm sorry. I'm sorry <laughs> it's so over. It's so over. Um, I thought it'd be funny to bring up. I think it is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we can. But now we're homies. Yeah. Or, and I'm still in love with you. So. Is that the case? <laughs> <laughs> she might have. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This is a podcast. This Poor is a podcast. podcast. I'm just, I'm just tip for the end. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can discuss. That. <laughs> well, okay. Well, no, can I discuss briefly that you did? I around the same time you did invite me to, uh, like New Year's, mm-hmm. and but then you were also tweeting that you invited like your five dating prospects <laughs> to your New Year's party. And I was like, "Did I?" T- and I, you literally were tweeting these things. I could see these things. Oh, uh, and you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I don't. I, no, no. I do. I do believe I'm that like, I. am t- like Meg. I could see this. I don't. No, I do believe that I tweeted that. I um, I I don't. Um, I don't. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. I'm it in the hot funny. seat. We're in no, the I'm Ma- sorry, I'm no, sorry. the Megan. The funny. tweets have consequences sometimes. <laughs> That's why. Um, <laughs> No, no, this is this is real. The me tweeting about trying to get back together, my ex boyfriend has no, bitten me was, in the ass. I figured that was real, also, because yeah, it was like half real. No, I yeah, knew totally. we weren't gonna get back together, <laughs> but I wanted to talk to him. I was like, he's moving here now, which is bad for me. Oh no, but we're not getting back together. Oh sure, that mm-hmm. door is actually finally closed. But um, Sweet. no, I was um, <laughs> I love uh, I. This is a first for the podcast, by the way. Never done this to never. Yeah, hot this seat. funny hot seat. Yeah, 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 I like the hot seat. <laughs> Um, ow that's me in the hot seat um oh, uh no i um who did, i don't even think i had five guys that i was talking to at the time that i invited to new it was Year's. like a, it was like a fake concept i like think a- i think i had been well okay here's the thing i call every guy that um i've been on one date with my boyfriend like as a joke or like <laughs> whenever i discuss them with my friends i go oh you know my boyfriend blank and then they were like yeah yeah and then none of them are my boyfriend <laughs> oh, so then I'll like you know how you can go on. You could you could 
like multiple people at a time yeah. kind of, or like you know you can weigh your options and yeah, then totally. um no, I'm, fam- I'm familiar you're with familiar that. with the concept of dating yeah, yeah. and then um you know <laughs> <laughs> it turns out i fumbled benny actually well, that's the yeah, end of yeah, the, yeah. yeah. the park end of- <laughs> <laughs> whoops well i mean you got sick and got hit in the face of the rake yes i did break my nose yeah, you, uh with you literally rake. broke your nose i literally broke my yeah, nose I don't, that's not the, quite the same idea as fall as 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 what <laughs> it's, not, it's not like literally fumbling it's like that's true it's more anyway i broke that was a tough a tough week we could talk off air yeah, <laughs> <we could. laughs> i thought it would be funny to do that <laughs> this is good this is good it's good, good yeah this is authentic yeah yeah is that really, that really, I don't know what to say. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm looking po- at you through that. I'm looking we're no at longer it. able to make yeah, eye contact. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we were great at eye contact we were, this whole time. We were, we were doing good. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, wow. How long? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see if I. Do you have any further thoughts? Um. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like blushing right now. Sorry, I haven't blushed sorry. in a while. That was very funny. Um. No, I don't have any other. We were going to go see Dune. We were going to see idea. Dune, and then um, something happened. Sorry that you broke your nose. It's okay. It was pretty funny how I broke my yeah, nose. Yeah, you stepped on a rake. I jumped on a rake jumped for a, rake. a sketch, yeah. and then I broke my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody filmed it. <laughs> I know, didn't they? I thought... No, they filmed... Oh, yeah. the, the That was during dress rehearsal. I broke my nose. Then in the real, in the final run, I, d- I did a PSA about the dangers of jumping on rakes. Oh, sure. So. I feel a little bad for putting you in the hot seat. I feel like I no, cooked you. No, no, <laughs> no, no. No. You have to hold, hold women accountable. <laughs> we have to hold women accountable for canceling dates. <laughs> Especially when they're not explicitly called dates. Well. Well. You did ask... I don't know. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> You know, you know, you know. It wasn't explicitly a date, but it was. You did ask me to the movies, but I don't know if that's. No, it was a date. It was a date. I was trying to uh, wiggle my way out of that one. No, you can't catch me. I'm too slippery. I did. I did say. I did say the homies. I was like, this is a date, right? It wasn't. I was like, this isn't explicitly, but this is. Yeah. She's asking me to the movies. Yes. Yes. Which is funny because I hate the movies as a date. Yes, same. Wow, yeah. <laughs> and you can't talk or whatever. But I guess the idea is like you do the thing and then you would talk after. Is the yeah, but you and I are already just... good at talking to each other. <laughs> we didn't have to go to a movie. Mm-hmm. That's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> this is the content that they want. Yeah, this is what the people want. <laughs> this is what. Um, yeah, I can't wait to say. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, scroll to an hour in to watch me get <laughs> grilled. <laughs> No, um, yeah, yeah. If you feel to grill, if you feel, feel free to grill me if you have anything. Grill pills. Grill oh, pills. I have nothing to grill you on. Uh, what can I? Ungrillable, too slippery. Yeah, yep, <laughs> yep. Can't catch. It. What's something that you can't grill? What's a food that's ungrillable? That you wouldn't. The hmm. <sighs> chocolate strawberry. It's chocolate. <laughs> you can't grill chocolate. There we go. Yeah, they call him Benny the d- chocolate. They're not calling Chuck. back. Chuck, I don't even know what that would mean. Oh, uh. nice! Hell yeah! Now that we're good and embarrassed, maybe we'll wrap it up. Yeah, now that we're yeah. Hell yeah! We can it on that. We can leave it on that, and then let them speculate wildly. Yeah, will they? We won't they? About. Tune in next week. That's right. All right, folks. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Meg, thanks for coming on. Check out Meg. Thanks on, for having me. Uh, what platform would you uh, like to Twitter. Twitter. Um, Megan Mitchell <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, Megan dot bitch on Instagram. Peace. Bye. <laughs>